in certain regions of the world, including Minnesota and the US, there are these cool sedimentary rock units that consist of these alternating colors. And those alternating layers consist of silica rich layers and then iron oxide layers. And the iron layer consists of the minerals magnetite and hematite. And we're going to talk about one of those minerals today, and that's hematite. <laughs> Welcome back everyone, continuing my series on minerals today. We're talking about this guy, and this is hematite. Hematite is a simple oxide. More specifically, it is an iron oxide, and that classification will certainly dictate a lot of the physical properties of this mineral that we'll talk about today. Now right off the bat, the color of hematite is going to be anywhere from this metallic gray look to red. You can see a little bit of that red there. The hardness of hematite is about a 5 to a 6 on the Mohs hardness scale, making it slightly softer than quartz. Hematite crystals are considered hexagonal. Now you can find hematite in a lot of varieties. It can have tabular looking crystals, but it can also have these interesting growths that almost look like rosette patterns. We can also find hematite in uh, reniform or betroidal growths. I often find it like that, as well as even radiated uh, patterns or even just granular chunks like you see um, in this piece here. You can find big granular chunks of hematite as well. And even if you find something like this that has this gray look to it and you streak test it, you're going to see a red streak and that helps you identify this mineral as hematite. And this red streak alone will help you distinguish it from some similar mineral species such as magnetite or even galena, as well as limonite or ilmenite. And you'll also distinguish hematite from magnetite by the fact that this will not be magnetic. Now hematite is found in a variety of different rock environments. It can be commonly found in sedimentary environments, but it's also found in igneous and metamorphic regions. It can occur with minerals such as biotite, albite, and barite, and carbonatites. We find hematite with diapside and epidote in hornfells, which would be contact and regional metamorphic environments. And we find hematite with associated with the minerals quartz and siderite in mesothermal or epithermal veins. We also find hematite associated with fluorite, barite, or calcite in load or disseminated replacement deposits. Now, where can we typically find hematite? Well, huge deposits of this iron ore have been being mined around the Lake Superior, Michigan region for a, quite some time. A region also well known for those banded iron formations. New York is known for brilliant druzy crystals. Betroidal or reniform masses are known both from those Michigan localities as well as mining districts in Arizona. Arizona is also known for having these brilliant black hematite crystals that occur there with the contrasting whitish quartz crystals, so pretty cool variety. Now the term hematite comes from a Greek word hematitis, which means blood-like in reference to the rather vivid red color, especially when hematite is powdered down. Now one of the main and possibly obvious uses of hematite is that of a source of iron being that it is an iron oxide. <laughs> 